Timber 1911 Super Carry HD from about eight yards. We're gonna do a little accuracy test of the uh, Kimber versus the six hour fastback. Here we go, eight shots from the Kimber. Be shooting at the target on the left hand side. Not too bad, looks like I had one flyer. Uh, we'll do the uh, six hour fastback next. Six hour fastback versus Kimber Super Carry. Range day from about eight yards. We'll be shooting at the target on the right. Target on the left is the Kimber Super Carry. Target on the right will be uh, six hour fastback 1911. Here we go. Well, it looks like I can't hit shit today. So, anyway, there you go. Uh, <clears throat> basically, just giving you a quick look at them. Uh, nothing really special. They're, they're both excellent firearms. If you like Kimber, you've got a good gun. If you like Sig, you've got a great gun. I mean, there's virtually no difference in these guns, other as far as quality and function. They both function well. They're both high quality firearms. Can't go wrong with either gun. Uh, not really here to change anyone's mind about Kimber or Sig. If you like, you like what you like. You may not like either one of these guns, okay, and that's fine as well too. But just basically want to show you uh, that they're, they're both the uh, rounded bobtail. Of course, the Kimber. These are uh, make it really nice if you want to do a concealed carry. Uh, Still, it's still like carrying a brick in your pocket if you're trying to carry a 1911, but the rounded bobtail reduces a little bit of the printing. Um, it helps out. It's a to me, and it, to me, it makes the gun look nice. <clears throat> That's the biggest reason I like it. Fits my hand, fits my hand really well. They both shoot great. Um, anyway, just want to give you a, kind of a closer look at them. Show them off a little bit here to you. This is your Sig. This is a, has a nitron finish. It's a more of a uh, flat, dark, uh, flat black uh, finish on it. This gun's pretty much all business. Pretty much your standard features. Uh, does have the uh, serrations on the back strap, which is all metal. Uh, the nice 25 lines per inch checkering. Uh, which gives you a nice purchase on a gun. It doesn't really uh, hurt your hand. Uh, just like I said, it keeps keeps a nice grip on the gun. And there's you know it comes with your stainless steel features. It comes with a nice uh, hammer, nice uh, memory bump on your beaver tail, nice serrated uh, trigger. The gun, the frame, and the slide stainless. Uh, the barrel is carbon steel. Uh, pretty much a match grade barrel. Uh, six six Sig's done a really nice job. Comes with some nice looking uh, G10 grips, which say Sig Sour. I don't know if you can read that very well, but uh, pretty nice little deal. I may upgrade to. Uh, some VZ grips sometime down the road, may not. I kind of really like these, they really look good on the gun. So, may not change these at all, but who knows?
may throw my camera grips on here too. Change it out a little bit. But all right, I'll show you camera now. So he does have the same rounded bobtail. Something new on this Kimber is Kimber's actually done an all-metal backstrap. Very few Kimbers have an all-metal backstrap. And it does have the uh, serrations. This guy's decked out to the to the nines. It has nice scale type serrations all the way across the top. Excellent, excellent serrations right here. Um, front and back and also the uh, front strap. Very nice job. Kimber's really decked this gun out a lot. It's one of the highest end Kimber's I own. I'm very happy with it. This gun is all stainless, uh, including the barrel. <clears throat> Has a really nice Delta style hammer on it. Um, doesn't have the memory uh, bump on the beaver tail. That's not really necessary on a 1911. Because when you grip a 1911, you automatically grip it high anyway. So, but the memory bump does look nice. This one doesn't have it. Uh, <clears throat> I really like the trigger on the Kimber. It's a very cool looking trigger. A little different from most 1911s. A little older style looking uh, trigger. Both these guns have excellent, excellent uh, uh, trigger. Probably, I'm going to guess four pounds on a Kimber. Uh, their websites is between four and five, so I'm going to say it's probably no more than four and a half. Very light, crisp trigger pull. Very happy with it. And I'm going to guess, uh, the Kimber says it, I think it's between, I mean, I'm sorry, the SIG. The six hour trigger pull is supposed to be between five and six and I'm gonna say it might be a little bit lighter than a Kimber or the same it's very crisp very uh, very easy to do breaks really clean we'll say about the same I really hadn't compared them that much but I'm gonna say they're both about the same but anyway really nice triggers on both of them they're both very accurate uh, I really need to get these guns out and do a comparison range video at an indoor range. That way I can compare uh, targets, do a YouTube vid about that. May do that here soon. Um, may not. But thanks for watching. And uh, I just want to give you a closer look at my six hour fastback with the rounded bobtail. And also do a little close up of the. Uh, Kimber Super Carry. Both these guns are nice. I had no complaints on either gun. Uh, they're both very, very cool guns. Like I said, Kimber is pretty decked out. Um, quite a bit more money for the Kimber than the SIG. Uh, in my opinion, SIG is a better value, but you are getting a lot with the Kimber, so I guess I'm trying to justify how much for how much I paid for it. It's about $550 more than I paid for the SIG so but anyway they're both paid for and I love them both so these would be the last two guns I would ever get rid of if I ever had to get rid of any guns these are my uh, my uh, keepers hopefully <laughs> unless I need a liver or something then we'll have to do something about it but anyway both have night sights uh, both very nice guns. Thanks for watching and I hope I haven't bored you too much. And subscribe to my channel if you want to. If not, check in every now and then and watch. Thanks.